This is going to be a video about the electrical system on the J Series Sport 8 pop up camper by Jayco. Um, so we currently have the power cord for the camper plugged into a regular uh, 110 outlet, and we did that using a dog leg that I bought at a big box uh, hardware store. This one is from Menards and this basically takes the uh, 30 amp plug and converts it into just a regular 110. And so that's one of the dog bones that we have. And then the, the power cord basically comes around onto the road side of the camper and goes in here and you can basically push the whole thing in and then you can close that down around it and for when you're actually camping you can close it up like that so there's not a big opening but uh, the whole cord will will push in there now as as far as what the camper has that is electrical um, on the outside there's really not that much. You can see that there's just one light here that's actually 12 volt, and we'll go into more details on that. And it will all make sense in a bit. Um, that right there is a 12 volt battery that the camper has. And the battery can charge very, very slowly if you're driving down the road and you have the trailer hooked up to the tow vehicle. Um, but uh, normally, Whenever you're hooked up to quote shore power, which means that you have it actually plugged in somewhere. This is that same cable right here that is coming in from outside. And it basically goes through to this jumble of wires. And that box that this hooks up to is known as the converter and it converts from 120 volts down to 12 volts and you can also see that we got a couple of breakers here uh, one of the breakers is strictly for the air conditioner and the other breaker is for everything else and all of these fuses over here on this side actually are for all of the the 12 volt connections that the RV has in it and as far as what is going on with 12 volt you can see that we've got a uh, carbon monoxide detector right there and that is running off of 12 volt the water pump or whenever you want to have the sink turned on is running off of 12 volt there are multiple lights up overhead that are running off of 12 volt um, this right here is how you actually turn the water pump on um, there is a furnace that is using 12 volt for the fan, and that's down here behind this. And the refrigerator can run off of 12 volt. The refrigerator can also run off of propane or 120, but it can run off of 12 volt. And whenever you have the camper plugged into shore power, this converter right here will convert to 12 volt. If you do not have the camper plugged in, we still have 12 volt because of the battery that's up there, and that will run everything that I've talked about. If you are plugged into shore power though, you also have 120. And with the 120, you gain a few other things. You gain this uh, 120 volt outlet that you have right there. You also gain that 120 volt outlet that you have there as well as one that's hiding over here underneath the controls for the furnace and the water heater and as importantly you gain the use of the air conditioner that is up overhead and so that's what you get with the 120 volt power um, it's a relatively straightforward system uh, but it's obviously very important and one other thing that I will explain on the outside 
is for the refrigerator. And if we go down here to the refrigerator settings, you can see that there is a selector right there that you can choose to put on DC, which is 12 volt. Um, AC is at the top of that. And then gas is if you have it turned to the right. And so by setting that the way it needs to be, you can choose whether you want the fridge to run off of uh, the AC power source or, or not. And so that's just a, a brief overview of the way that power is handled on the camper. And this is obviously for this specific pop-up, but uh, it's pretty similar on most smaller travel trailers and pop-ups. Um, there's also a 120 volt outlet right out here that you have access to if you have the thing plugged in. There are other lights on the camper here. And there's that orange one there. And uh, then you've got the, the lights back here. Um, these only work if you're actually hooked up to a tow vehicle. Otherwise, those lights don't do anything at all. And so they're not terribly useful for whenever you're actually sitting at the campground. There are a few options that uh, Jayco has available. Um, they actually, you can see that next to the light, there's a little uh, plug and you can actually buy a little fan light combo that you can then hang off of that hook that can provide additional uh, fan power and uh, lights for when people are in bed. Um, I had also, whenever I first started this video, I had talked about being plugged in to the 110 volt. If we were at a 30 amp campground uh, connection, we'd be able to just plug this part of the plug in. I, could, I would undo this part, and then this right here would plug directly into the RV campground. Uh, but you might find yourself at an RV spot that has a 50 amp plug, which is typically used for larger travel trailers that might have uh, two air conditioners and just needs more power. If, if you find yourself in a situation like that, um, this is what the the 50 amp plug is going to look like and this here is a dog bone that we can use where we can plug in our 30 amp plug that we have hooked up to the camper into this end and then we can plug this end into the uh, campsite and uh, if you're a little bit more knowledgeable on electricity you know that the 50 amp connections are actually 240 volt and this end is 30 volt so what basically happens inside that little black box right there is one of the legs is just completely thrown away and it takes the 30 amps from the other one. Well, it, technically it would provide 50, but uh, the RV is going to only deal with 30. So that's basically the way that that works. And hopefully this helps explain just a little bit more about how the electrical system works on a small pop-up camper.